Our daily Bible reading for April 16th. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 13, beginning in verse 1. There were some present at the very time who told him about the Galilean whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And he answered them, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered in this way? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Or those eighteen on whom the Tower of Siloam fell and killed them, do you think that they were worse offenders than all the others who lived in Jerusalem? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. And he told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came seeking fruit on it and found none. And he said to the vine dresser, Look, for three years now I have come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and I find none. Cut it down. Why should it use up the ground? And he answered him, Sir, let it alone this year also until I dig around it and put on manure. Then if it should bear fruit next year, well and good. But if not, you can cut it down. Now he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman who had had a disabling spirit for 18 years. She was bent over and could not fully straighten herself. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said to her, Woman, you are freed from your disability. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight. And she glorified God. But the ruler of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, said to the people, There are six days in which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. Then the Lord answered him, You hypocrites! Does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his donkey from the manger and lead it away to water it? And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for eighteen years, be loose from this bond on the Sabbath day? As he said these things, all his adversaries were put to shame, and all the people rejoiced at all the glorious things that were done by him. <clears throat> Our thoughts for today. There's something inherently dangerous about tearing others down to increase our own stature. or lowering the bar so that our accomplishments may look all the more elegant. Still, every tub sits on its own bottom, as the old saying goes. Being able to judge righteously or with true discernment is difficult at times. It involves being completely honest and unfettered by personal prejudice to see things as they truly are. For when we measure others by ourselves or ourselves by others, and as it pertains to goodness, someone is bound to lose. However, to stand on one's own merits is a sobering view we may not be willing to take. The two incidents that Jesus references here in Luke 13 are unknown to historians and thus not recorded in secular history, but for the fact that we truly cannot make a judgment on those men's character. All the better, since we can take the verse at face value. Whatever happened with Pilate and the Galileans slaughtered there in the temple or the Tower of Siloam, is lost to history for now. But there seems to be a sense here that a judgment may be leveled against their character for having suffered such a fate as happened to them. We may be subject to that same attitude if we're not careful. Perhaps it is the unfortunate fate of a less than honorable individual to perish in a single car accident. The sentiment may be that, well, they got what they deserved. When we render such judgments as that, we are actually placing ourselves above them by comparison. Jesus levels the playing field by telling them and us that there were no degrees of badness that would be of use for the purpose of gaining ground one over another. Each person will perish apart from repentance. It matters not how good or bad they are. All who fail to repent will likewise perish. God is a just judge and able to see clearly and perfectly that all have fallen short. Yes, he has provided a way out, even the righteousness of God through faith in Christ Jesus for all those who believe. For there is no distinction for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, being justified as a gift by his grace through the redemption which is in Christ Jesus. We find that in Romans 3, 22-24. To think of ourselves as better or worse 
on a scale of righteousness outside of Christ is like rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. And a thought to meditate on this day. God has made it plain that no one can stand on their own righteousness. They must come to Him in faith and obedience if they are to be cleansed. And a question to consider this day. Have you ever found yourself comparing one life to another in respect to righteousness? Those are our thoughts for today, April 16th.